everybody, it is me Alice and today I'm going to be doing my everyday kind of makeup routine because basically I put like a poll on Instagram and you guys can either choose an everyday makeup tutorial or like a makeup collection and you guys were like I want to say like my, like my everyday kind of makeup tutorial so here we go so without further ado let's go on the video I, I will do this is the blush palette where the hell is my eyebrow okay this is really confusing right because the packaging for these two is like really similar this is the blush palette and this is the eyebrow kit this is what I need to do first so this is the revolution makeup london ultra brow professional makeup I love this so much and the shade I'll be using is this one here because my eyebrows are quite dark like because my hair used to be really blonde and then my hair kind of like turn kind of like a brownie so that's why I, ha I have to use like a kind of like a dark eyebrow shade now and the brush I'll be using is my little Primark brush honestly like I have not been filming a video in ages because um basically like I've had some problems with my iPad where it hasn't had enough storage so I reset it and then after that I've been kind of like unmotivated for youtube plus i don't really have as much time to film now because about three weeks ago i started my job which i work like in a pub i'm quite enjoying it it's quite good um and obviously i work mainly on like the weekends now so i don't really have as much time to film and edit and stuff and also i started college and i'm doing a hair and makeup course and honestly i'm really enjoying it because like at first i was a bit nervous because I, I, I like i was going on my own like all of my friends were either going to sixth form or doing other courses in, co in college um However, I've made a few friends, they're really nice, and I've learned so much, like, I know how to do eyebrows, I know, like, I know how, like, to shape them and stuff, and I can learn how to tint eyebrows and, eyebrow, like, eyebrows and stuff, so if you want to have your eyebrows done, hit me up, um, but yeah, but anyway, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be, I'm just going to firstly brush out my brows, I also use another brush, if I can find it, I don't really know where it goes, I want to lose so many brushes, I mean, Real Techniques Fine Liner Brush, but I use it for the start of my eyebrow. I'm just going to keep on doing this until they look even and, and more normal. I can see that obviously, please like, ignore how like huge my eyebrows look, it's just because I will be using the concealer to like shape them and stuff. But um, I'm using my Ellie Girl Concealer in the shade Porcelain, because this is really good for like shaping eyebrows and the coverage is the bomb. So the brush I'll be using, I have cleaned all of my makeup brushes so they look lovely and clean as you can see. I'm going to be using my Revolution brush, it's like a limited edition one because it says there, limited edition, I love it. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to be using this concealer, I'm probably going to have to buy a new one because there's not really much left in it. I was in the mood for filming today because I've not filmed a video in about three weeks which is so bad with, but it's, it's because like like a lot has changed like in the past in the past few weeks so you know i'm back and i, I will try to kind of like vlog however i don't really have as much time to vlog now because I'm, I'm at college for three days a week and um i'm also like at work so like the only days that i can really vlog like it's on the first i mean it's on a tuesday because that's like the day where i don't work i don't have college and it's like a friday but sometimes i do work on a friday so it, it just depends but I'll see how it goes and yeah. Now um, I'm using my collection powder in the shade Ivory. This is only £2 from Superdrug, I recommend it. It smells like baby powder, which smells really nice. And the brush I'm using is my setting brush, which I cleaned. However, like, some of the bristles are coming out of it, which is kind of a bit strange. So, rest in peace brush. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm just going to powder this on my eyelids because I've got a concealer on there. Please like ignore how awful my eyebrows are but like I just don't have the effort to do them anymore. Like eyebrows are probably the worst feature of my face probably. I would say because they're just so uneven and like you know. My L'Oreal Infallible Primer which I'll probably have to get a new one off because of how like thin the thing is and I can't even get it out either. But yeah, I'm gonna use this. <laughs> this is perfect for oily skin which I have got and it makes your face matte. Um, so it's very good, I love this. And it's just like a kind of like a clear kind of um, primer. I'm just going to put this everywhere on my face. For my face, I will be using my Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. This is in the shade Light 44 Cool. So guys, I ordered um, a foundation brush from Amazon for £3.99. I, I will link it in the description because this has honestly changed my life. I've only used it once, so you think I used it yesterday. But honestly, like, right, so, like, I, I can't show you, like, a tutorial, so, like, obviously, it's a hole in the middle there, 
right where you, you put your foundation in so put like a pump in and then because they can see it's, it's, it's in like the little gap and then now, now you, you put it all over your face you put it like everywhere where you want to put foundation which is on all over your face obviously um so like i like to put it more like on my cheeks and my forehead because that's where i've got the most breakouts and where i have the most kind of like skin like the most surface area yeah and then you just kind of blend it this makes your face look so flawless um it's just like literally the best purchase like i even prefer it over like this, this brush here and this brush costs about like i think about eight pounds on its own and compared to this this is so much better than that one but yeah make sure your face looks so much flawless because like, cause, like with, with, with that other brush i kind of have a few streak marks however with this this is a literally a streak free brush can you see how smooth my face is? Now it's time for concealer. I am using my Revolution concealer in the shade C1 because, as you know, I am like the like a ghost, and I'm probably gonna have to get a new concealer just because I've hardly got anything on the on like the little applicator thing. Um, but I'm just gonna put this under my eyes because I've got quite dark circles. I'm just gonna put it on my chin, on my cheek, and just on my forehead because I've got like a few spots on there, so we need to hide them little buggers because the spots are just a pain anyway i'm using my primark beauty blender you're just probably gonna have to get a new one off and it looks really big because i cleaned it and all the water hasn't came out yet so that's why it looks quite big but it's really good and they i think like there's a pack of four of them for like a pound from primark and like i think they come in a pack of like these ones and then like another little small one as well and then this one obviously like i recommend it so much like it's super good and to blend your concealer in like a dream so now for powder i'm using my collection powder i can tell it's hit pan because you know but i have got a spare one which i'm loving um so the brush i like to use is this one and i also like to use this powder brush which is very good look how pretty it is for a start like then um, like obviously compared to this this is like um a glow up ver like a glow up version if you know what i mean this is like a little foam and this is like like a unicorn like yeah but yeah i love this so much and um this brush is the, the setting brush which is really good for like powdering your eyelids and like the concealer under your eyes um i love it so much you can tell it's just like the perfect little like size and it honestly collects the powder really well excuse me my lumi case just fell thanks thanks for that honey i'm sorry to be careful but i can tell i've hit pan on this one and this one but I, I usually go for like the medium just because I prefer it and the brush I've been using for this is my old powder brush just because it's really good for like your forehead and then I'll be using my little blush brush this is going to fall again I'm going to use the blush brush which I love so first I'm just going to kind of go with my forehead going to go in the middle shade a lot to your mind obviously it looks like I've just got like a line but I will be blending out with my little multitask brush it's going to all over my little forehead I, I, I kind of have like a smallish forehead i don't know no actually i don't really but well this brush is super good for collecting like um product it looks awful on the side and the side looks looks not too bad but um, this is really good for like the uh, like your temples and like your forehead and stuff I, i've always blending it out but i like to leave it like that and then i go in with my blush brush on my cheekbones it's going to be using the medium shade again I've had this almost a year and like it's only hit pan like recently. That just shows you how good, like how long it lasts. Let me put it on my cheekbones because I don't really have that good cheekbones to be honest. So we need to make them more visible. <laughs> Middle shade, like under my cheekbones. Because look how good that makes it look. And so I'm also going to do a little bit on my forehead, just in the middle and on my nose as well. Because like it makes you look a bit more like ready for life i'm for my highlight which i'll be like this is not like like literally the, the best part of makeup in my opinion this is this is a moon child anastasia highlighter as you can tell look at like the packaging it's like holographic you can see like the little rainbow i love it so much and the, my, the shade that i like to i like to mix them i like to use this this shade and this shade just because it creates like a nice kind of like pearl kind of color which i kind of love so i like put it on my nose first it's honestly the most loveliest highlight. Oh my god, look at that glow. Damn. The colours are incredible. Like, look at this. Oh my god. I'm for my eyeliner because, like, every time I put eyelashes on, I have to make sure I have eyeliner on. This is the NYX matte liner. I would, like, switch it up a little bit and, like, 
add a small wing onto my eye because I haven't worn winged eyeliner in ages and I, can't, I was kind of like feeling it because because like I'm, like before um, the course I'm doing we need to practice winged eyeliner so I was like I'm gonna practice it and I'm actually super proud of this one obviously this one's a bit more like a bit uh, but you know we can ignore that but now it's time for mascara I'll, I'll be using my LA Girl Wispy Mascara this is waterproof and make sure lashes look super long and I love this so much there we go as you can see I have like longer lashes now and then it'll be time for my eyelashes so the eyelashes I use are the saucy ones um, like these are just the holly eyelashes and these are super pretty like look at them they're very nice, I love them so much. So obviously I'm going to apply these with my Duo Lash Glue in black. It's because I prefer the black one over the white one. Hope that it comes out, yeah. I'm going to put it along my lash line and the Luma case has just died on me. Thank you, thank you Lumi for dying. But yeah, look how lovely and like, fluttery these eyelashes look like. They're super pretty and I love them. I'm just going to make sure that it's all stuck on, I think it is. Love that, so now it's time for the other one. The Revlon Lip Liner in the shade mauve or mauve as you can see there and um, this is like a lovely pinky kind of shade so i'm just going to outline my lips with this honestly this is super creamy and this is super easy to put on so now I, after i have applied my lip liner i'll be using my nyx turn top lipstick in the shade flutter kiss a glossy lipstick this is super lovely and a super lovely shade and it honestly matches perfectly with this lip liner so i'll just show you what it looks like look at that it's a lovely color i love it so much so guys here is my finished makeup look as you can see i've kind of used like the, the products which i use every day and i love them all so much um so yeah but anyway i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up and a comment down below and i'll see you in my next video bye